So this also doesn't happen guys when we're in half guard like this. When you're in half guard like this, this isn't, this isn't duck to the back time, you know? It actually works better when he's on top of me, right? And for you guys that know the turning in pass, right? We have the whole game where he switches to a negative guard pass and I'm starting to go this way, right? So you have the versions that I've taught like this the most. I think I taught Evan and Brian actually this a lot. Brian's in my video. I've got like a hundred something thousand hits on this video, but there's a lot of going this way, like wrapping him his lap and trying to take him go with the momentum, right? And I've taught that a bunch and I feel a lot of my black belts know that stuff. So I'm just going to try and give you a little bit of a different flavor today and some of the techniques that I'm getting away with in Florida. See, I can't get away with everything here because all these guys know my tricks. <laughs> so eventually the snakes start biting back. Anyway, so uh, as he comes to cross face me, or even if he's heavy on the hip right here, it's okay. Remember, I don't want to try and force an underhook here. It's not going to work. I'm going to concentrate on the two on one, dunking my elbow, coming up underneath this way. Okay. Yes, I'm on my elbow. Can I be on my hand? That's even better. Yes. Okay. But. I thought your elbow was better. No, elbow's not better because it's hard to hop on my elbow. Right? But it's easy to make a lot of distance on my hand. Good question, little man. Right? So, but I can't always make it to my hand first. So sometimes I come here and I can't quite make it up. I just make it to my elbow. Okay? And then I'm able to make some space. So when I make some space like this, now it's easy for me to get on my hand. Okay? Do you need those kindergarten questions sometimes, right, guys? Yes, sir. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I did in half guard as I did in um, side control. You can also throw this butterfly hook in. So you've got two things that are going to happen. And it's about him letting go of my knee. If Garrett squeezes his legs, like some guys are going to do that naturally, right? He won't let me just pull my leg out. So it's going to be some version of sweeping him rather than taking his back. Right? So as I'm here, I can start it. I can grab his lat, post on his knee. I like to post on his knee because I uh, walk underneath to me. So I don't want him to do that, you see? So he won't do that anymore and I'll sweep him. Does that make sense? Okay, so we have that, we have that version where we can get like that, that hip bump like that, okay? Again, in two on one, you can be heavy on the hip even. I duck underneath and I raise up to the palm in the armpit, elbow touching the base of the neck, all right? And now what I want to do is I'm going to start to scoot out a little bit, all right? Start to scoot out, build my base. If I can, I stick this left butterfly hook in. That's even better, okay? And I'm squeezing my butterfly hook, my lat, everything like that. I don't want this to be a lazy hook, but what I mean by lazy hook is it's chilling, it's not flexed, it's not on the top of my foot, and so step right into mount, and then here comes his back take, yeah. See what I'm saying? So like all that stuff will start to happen. And uh, don't want that stuff to happen. So half guard, two on one, elbow comes inside. Oh, make some distance, I got some space. This also equals my butterfly hook that I have here now. So this now makes it a little bit harder for him to step over, but also for him to back step and different things like that, right? So uh, now's where I have my ability to move again. So I'm gonna kick out and I'm gonna stay with this grip hip escape, right? Coming back. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the problem when Garrett counter wrestles. And actually we'll do this technique first and we'll start to talk about when Eric, or Garrett tripods up on his head, when he gets on his feet, when he gets on four, four points. So there's gonna be different reactions that Garrett has, right? Here, hip escape, hand. Got my butterfly hook. Hip escape a little bit more. Here's my final pull. That makes sense. Just practically do the same dang thing. Just do it from half hip escape, elbow to your hand, get your hook in, and then go all the way to the back. It's the only difference. Two times and switch. Ready, set. Yeah. 